Nord Pass versus Proton Pass, a versatile all rounder versus a complete privacy powerhouse. Which one is the best for users like you in 2025? This is precisely what I'll be covering today. I'll be going through the security, features, and pricing of both password managers. And to sweeten the deal, I'm including the best discount links for both providers in the description below. So whoever wins for you in our Proton Pass versus NordPass battle, you'll get the best deal right there. Let's start out this password manager comparison by covering security. ProtonPass shines in this respect, since it was created by a very privacy-focused company already famous for cybersecurity services like ProtonVPN and ProtonMail. Furthermore, ProtonVPN is completely open source and has a zero-knowledge architecture. NordPass is also developed by a reputable cybersecurity company, Nord Security, so it too has strong backing. While NordPass isn't open source, it still uses zero-knowledge architecture standards. So in that regard, the two providers are almost identical. The same applies when it comes to jurisdiction and third-party audits. Both providers are based in privacy-friendly jurisdictions and have their privacy promises confirmed by reputable cybersecurity researchers. The differences arise when we consider encryption. Encryption is what keeps your password safe, scrambling data inside the password manager. Diving into our ProtonPass review for encryption, we see it uses a standard reliable type of encryption for all their data, even URLs and other metadata saved in the app. Meanwhile, NordPass encryption is a bit more modern and less prone to human error. If you're not sure whether you need NordPass or ProtonPass, I recommend trying out the CyberNews Password Leak Checker. Just drop a password in you use right there, and you'll find out immediately if it's ever been exposed in one of the previous data breaches. Trust me, it happens more than you'd expect. If you want to try out either NordPass or ProtonPass right away, remember you can get them with special discounts through the link in the description or by scanning these QR codes. Now, while best password manager picks NordPass and ProtonPass have great generalized protection tools, I'd argue their special features are even more valuable. For instance, whenever I have to create a secure, unique password, I no longer have to rack my brain to come up with all the numbers and special symbols. Password generators do that for me. Both NordPass and ProtonPass offer this feature, and the differences between them are pretty marginal, to be honest. However, the same can't be said of autofill and autosave. These features are integral to a good quality of life. They automatically save passwords that I input and then autofill them whenever I try to log in. In my experience, NordPass has a smoother process and requires fewer button presses than ProtonPass does. To be clear, a password manager extension is required to use both autofill and autosave, so let's briefly talk about those and the corresponding apps. When it comes to ease of use, neither provider is worth criticizing. The UIs are straightforward and simple to work with. Basically, there isn't much of a difference in how the apps look, even on mobile devices, but there's still a lot to talk about when it comes to how they operate. For instance, both providers offer password health monitoring, a feature created to ensure that all safe passwords are secure enough. And thanks to the password generator, any passwords that have been flagged for being repeated, weak, or leaked can be replaced in just a few clicks. They can also create email aliases for me. These are fake email addresses that protect my privacy. Though I'll still receive all messages sent to that address, nobody will ever see my real data behind the alias. That's about all the features they have in common. And notably, NordPass has a couple features that ProtonPass doesn't offer, namely emergency access and offline access. I use the former to ensure a person I trust has access to the data I stored just in case. And the latter is useful when traveling without any internet access. As I noted earlier in our NordPass review, this provider specializes in this kind of quality of life features. While ProtonPass focuses on security with Proton Sentinel, this brings the buzzword of today, AI, into the picture, and it's actually been implemented here surprisingly well. Proton Sentinel analyzes any login attempts using your passwords and flags the suspicious ones, giving you advice on improving your security and avoiding social engineering attacks like phishing. Still, when it comes to features, NordPass is considerably more versatile than ProtonPass. Sure, ProtonPass has one unique feature, but for the best combination of ease of use and performance, NordPass is pretty much unbeatable especially when you get all this versatility at an even lower price point when you grab a discount. As usual, you can find the best deals in the description or this QR code. So go grab them. Speaking of pricing, let's look at the plans offered by both providers. It's important to understand that NordPass and ProtonPass are at their best when you consider their long-term deals. For NordPass, that means a biannual plan. 
And Proton Pass's best deal is its annual deal. So if you want to avoid long-term commitment, Proton Pass is a slightly better fit. That said, pricing-wise, NordPass is a much better deal. Both plans in question offer all the features I discussed so far, so you won't miss out on anything. In almost every regard, NordPass is a better performing and more affordable version of Proton Pass. For everyday use, NordPass is a perfect pick. It's easy to use and works great. Meanwhile, Proton Pass will suit privacy conscious users who prefer to keep an eye out at all times and would rather have extra protection than the convenience. Regardless of which one you pick, you can grab either NordPass or Proton Pass with a special discount. Just click the link in the description below. And if you're serious about keeping your device and account safe, check out one of these videos next. We regularly cover cybersecurity tips and tools that can really help you out. Appreciate you watching. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you soon.